Insights to the Spirit, a Bible study briefs a series from Shorter Community AME Church. This insight shares the topic, blessed. Here are Adam Dempsey, Clarence Allen, and Steve Shepard. Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the wicked, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of Jehovah, and on his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water that bringeth forth its fruits in its seasons, whose leaf also doth not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Jehovah knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Psalms opens with a clear declaration describing the state of affairs of those who reverence the Lord and His Word. Indeed, the text presents a stark contrast between those who fear and honor the Lord and those who do not. The difference is clearly illustrated in the daily lifestyle and ultimate destiny of the two. Those who reverence the Lord and His Word are called blessed. What does it mean to be blessed? Uh, To be blessed means to be sanctified and set aside and filled with happiness and contentment. Saints, there are two reasons why believers are called blessed. We are blessed because of the company we keep. Uh, Blessed people uh, do not allow themselves to be influenced by negative people or tricked or deceived by evildoers, or led astray or even polluted by those who hate God and live unholy lives. Have you ever been tempted? Have you ever been tempted to do wrong uh, by your so-called friends? Has peer pressure ever pushed you to go places you shouldn't go? Has the wrong crowd ever steered you in the wrong direction? I'm sure many of us have felt the pull of evil people posing as our friends. But our text declares us blessed for not even allowing the wicked, the sinner, the mocker uh, to have a place in our lives. Saints, uh, let me put a pin here. Watch who you hang with. Uh, Don't let the wrong people influence you. Instead of being influenced by those evildoers, uh, let our influence come from the Word of God. This leads us to the second reason why believers are called blessed. Uh, We are called blessed because of our devotion to the Word of God. Uh, According to verse 3, our daily meditation of the Word of God keeps us rooted. Uh, it, It makes us fruitful and productive Indeed, it makes us prosperous and even victorious. Now, saints, it is important to note that meditating on the Word of God means more than just casually or even passively reading it. Meditating on the Word of God means diligently studying it. It means examining the text, deeply thinking about what it says. It means reading the text with the intention of obeying it. It means studying the text with the intention of following it. Yes, saints, uh, we are blessed when we endeavor to walk the straight and narrow path, ever mindful to guard our hearts against the wiles and ways of evildoers. We are blessed when we prayerfully and carefully meditate on the word of God, allowing it to nourish our very souls with the bread of life. Let us pray. Holy and precious God, may you continue to strengthen us to resist the influence of evildoers and to be the blessed people you declared and called us to be. May we continue to seek guidance and direction through your indwelling Holy Spirit and through our daily meditations of your word. In Jesus' name this we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We're
blessed and highly favored. Reverend Michael Gallant. To gain the full value of this online Bible study, go to shorterambchurch.org. Click the link, Insight to the Spirit, Study Materials, Blessed. Experience uplifting, inspirational, spiritual insights like this Sundays at Denver Shorter Community AME Church. Reverend Timothy E. Tyler, Pastor.